All right, guys, so this is uh, my first actual sample test for the DJI Osmo Action. Um, I'm gonna take my longboard out just around my neighborhood, do a quick ride, um, and I'm gonna handhold the Osmo Action camera, and then we're gonna check out the effects of the uh, rock steady shot, the electronic image stabilization. And uh, I'm not gonna try the skateboard, <laughs> so. We're just gonna go around the neighborhood and uh, so this is 4k at 60 frames per second there's no ND filter attached so it's just doing its automatic shutter speed adjustments and uh, and let's start so a little rough over here and again this is my first recording I, I don't really know what to expect so we're gonna take a look at the footage in a little bit okay and uh, when you start recording the screen actually turns off after a minute for power saving uh, reasons and uh, so I'm not really looking at the screen I'm just pointing my camera like right in front and sometimes I'm gonna point down just get some shots of me pushing but uh, that's pretty much it so <sighs> It's really, really uh, super sunny. It's a nice weather though uh, in Miami. And uh, so it's gonna be interesting when I actually uh, mount this on my on my helmet uh, because with hand holding the uh, camera, it's kind of awkward uh, to do something like tricks and things like that. It's it's just a little awkward. So, um, but initial impression of the camera <sighs> pretty good it feels pretty uh, solid and uh, nice weight um, when you hold it on your hand and we're gonna go to the my little local park then I'm gonna just skate there for a little bit and then maybe turn off the rock steady setting so you guys can see if it's gonna make a huge difference on the on image stabilization or not. I assume it's gonna do because apparently from some of the reviews I've read it's it's just like GoPro. So oh, kind of rough. If it's as good as a GoPro then it should do just fine. Alright little secret access road. Now I'm running. Oh, I think they have turned off the secret access. So uh, maybe we'll go from the other side, the main entrance. That kind of sucks. Like, they should just open this gate so people can go in and use the facility uh, really easily. But anyway, oh, and uh, running a little bit. Okay, let's go to the main entrance and see if the gate is open or not. Oh, it's really hard to do it with one hand because I uh, kind of lose balance. A little bit. to do. Oh, yeah. Nope. Like, the thing is, uh, really, really need to mount the camera on the, on the helmet to be able to do anything because with one hand, there's no balance at all. Like there are some people going to college, um, they're just packing stuff. Good for them. Um, but 
just jumping around. We're almost at the uh, at the park, and looks like the entrance is open. So let's just head over there. I'm gonna turn off my electronic Im image stabilization, the Rocksteady, and I'm gonna do another footage recording with the EIS off. Okay, so I, I just turned the EIS off, and now I'm pushing again, trying to uh, just ride a little bit around this little, my local park. Um, again, really need to mount this on my helmet. Uh, in a little bit, so I don't I don't lose balance when like just trying to do some basic tricks. There's a little cat, faster than me for sure. Big turn. Pretty nice uh, little soccer field. Lots of kids playing over here at night. I mean uh, after school, and they have a little nice little. Uh, how do you call it? A little trail over here that's pretty nice for learning longboarding and skateboarding. And at least this is where I learned my how to how to ride my longboard. Um, again, I'm a beginner rider. I started only a few months ago because I think this is a really good, really good sport to learn. Um, and it's really good to just ride the longboards around especially in miami area which weather is always nice so um now we have the image uh, stabilization turned off and this is what you get so right now i'm just cruising without actually pushing and now i'm gonna push a few a few times Let's see over here still rolling I know the the rock steady is gonna work really good because I've seen some footage and it's it's quite amazing. Now with it all, you guys can compare how it's gonna how it's gonna look. So next, I'm gonna stop the recording and just turn on the rock steady. Let's push one more time. Okay, stopping the recording now. So just turn on rock steady and push one more time. See if there's any difference. And going up a little ramp over here. Like again, if you want to learn longboarding or skateboarding, all you have to do is just a lot of riding. That's at least how I learned. And uh, after you're very comfortable on your board, just uh, start learning some basic tricks. And right now it's very windy, so I'm curious to hear what the uh, sound is like, like super windy over here. I'm going against the wind. Pushing again. Again, if you are learning longboarding, a lot of times you have to learn how to carve, as they say, and then this road is actually not very good for learning how to carve because it's actually very narrow. So you have limited amounts of movements. Um, but it's really good to learn how to cruise because it's a smooth surface. It's even, it's pretty good for skateboarding as well, even though the skateboard have uh, smaller wheels. But um, there you have it. So let's go, go down a little ramp. Hopefully I don't fall. Get into my stance. Is coming all right so there you have it um just pushing around and if this is on my sony action cam my old one that i sold it's probably gonna be pretty shaky because the sony have a optical image stabilization and uh 
the optical one is good for small movements, but if you move like kind of big, um, it really couldn't handle like big movements at all. This one, I assume, is gonna handle the big movements good. And then I can just focus on enjoying my ride. Okay. Heading back, then uh, I'm gonna take a look at the footage and then uh, conclude this video, okay? All right, guys, so something I've, I've uh, noticed interestingly is I've noticed that there are a lot of artifacts on the road area, like flickering artifacts, uh, when I did the recording. So right now I'm just editing around and you can see those bendings around the area uh, where there is uh, a lot amount of data, like white areas. It's producing a weird color bending. I'm not sure if it's my camera. I'm not sure if it's because of the shutter speed flickering uh, because this is a sunny, sunny day or because this might be um, a defective camera. Uh, if someone here is also experiencing this flickering, do let me know in the comments section below. And uh, of course, I'm gonna test again um, later on to see if those weird bendings are still existing with a lower shutter speed or actually with a um, in a slightly low light setting where it's not really like super sunny outside. Now the final conclusion I would give this camera, again, based on my very first footage, is Rocksteady works great. The 4K quality at 60 frames per second works great. The bending, I'm not so sure. So if you guys have the bending issue, like in bright lights, do let me know. I'm really curious to find out what exactly is going on with this camera, okay? But I'm gonna go do my test a little more and then maybe I'll do an update later on what's going on with the bending issue or the flickering issue on the bright area of the image. So thank you again for checking out my um, 4K sample footage from the Osmo Action. If you guys have any questions or comments, do leave in the comment section below and uh, I will see you in my next video. Thanks again and take care.